Hey guys, so carrying from the last lesson today, we're going to be having a look at the Roto Brush function, which is quite new. Uh, I think maybe in the last two, three versions of Photoshop, Photoshop After Effects. Um, but this is definitely one of the more useful ones, but it's a bit fiddly. Um, so just, just be aware of this. Um, I'm going to change my footage to full, which is very important. This means that when I'm at 100%, the footage will be as sharp as it can be so we're going to try and mask these legs out now you can you could do this with the pen tool it will take like a while and let's have a look at see if roto brush can do any better so to do this we have to double click the footage to open it in the layer panel and we're going to go up to this tool here roto brush click on it and you're going to see now i'm going to get a kind of and uh, I'm also going to zoom in down here on the timeline just so I can see my uh, my my kind of footage. Um, you can move along here, but this you know, try and get it all within this area. Um, now you're always going to want to start on the first frame that you want to start masking from, and you want to really try and get this as close as possible on the first frame because. The way um, Roto Brush works is once you have a mask, so I'm going to try and draw a mask around these legs here. So um, I'm going to draw, and I'm just drawing roughly the area that I want to kind of keep in focus. And as you can see, everything's changed. We have an effect that's been added here on the left. We've got this little, um, these little like dots, uh, well, chevrons, arrows, whatever you want to call them, pointing forward. Um, and backwards. Uh, fortunately, we're not going to want to go backwards, so I'm going to drag that in. And um, if I move down in time uh, on here, we're going to see that it's trying to work out. Oh, what you know? It's as you can see, this pur purple area is moving. Now it's not working very well because we haven't sorted a proper first frame. So you can hold um, compress. Um, oh, sorry, pressed the wrong button there. Uh, I believe it's command. Yeah, if you hold down command or control, you see I've got my brushes here on the left. Uh, if you haven't got to brushes, hold control or command and you can make this bigger or smaller. And then hold alt to remove from the area. So um, as you can see here, if I, again, I've shown you this kind of little doodah before. And what it does is it doesn't brighten the screen it just brightens your view of the screen. So um, After Effects still has the same pixel information it always did, but um, for me it's just a bit easier to see because this is a particularly dark clip, especially at the start. So what I'm going to do is try and get this as close as possible. So we've got little areas here poking out. So if I again, if I just, as long as I have the tool selected, if I just click, I'll get this plus, and if I hold Alt, I'll get a minus. So it's all about trying to get this as close as possible on the first frame and obviously we don't want this area between these legs so uh, let's try and get rid of that and, uh, and once you've used this a few times you know this will become second nature and you'll see the effects at the end there's like different it is a quite a slow effect I'm going to warn you right now uh, in terms of like it takes a while to calculate that, uh, that looks all right so what I'm going to do now is hit spacebar okay so let's have a look at what it's done and you know that looks pretty good to me uh, around the outside the only place it's struggling is where I've done like pixel warping to slow the um, edges down now we're losing it in the middle, as you can see here, look in the legs, we're losing it in the crack. And the further we go, the more messed up that's getting. So you have to remember with this, can you fix it on the first frame? No, you can't here. I've been as literally as close as possible. So the next thing you do is move it onto the first frame where it starts to go. Because if we fix it here, maybe, maybe, and as you can see, we've lost our whole preview now. But if I hit space bar again, maybe it will no so it's still struggling so we're going to come to the next frame again help it out uh, just kind of like and this is getting closer now uh, okay we're, we're losing it a tiny bit there so I'm going to
try and be as close as possible and I'm going to hit OK and here we're losing it again so minus Let's see if that helps it and oh it almost did it so it's did a few more frames right um, we're starting to uh, need to kind of paint this area in because it as this calf comes in uh, as you can see it's struggling with that so um, we just need to give it a bit of a hand there so that's all good that's all good uh, problem being we're starting to like see this area here as well but you get the idea uh, just plus and minus and obviously here like we're starting to lose it a lot more and again that's because I pixel warped the footage as you can see the footage is like warping horribly so um, I did that wrong there you see I've gone to a frame where I've done it and there's a frame before where I should have fixed instead so uh, naughty naughty uh, let's go back to the first one hit spacebar and watch it preview and I'm just going to assume that this has done this right I mean I could go back and refine it a bit more so like add that there lose this bit in the middle uh, Add some there. Oh, right. So let's again. You would have to, you know, in the interest of keeping these things up ten minutes. Uh, I'm not going to get too fussy about what's going on here. Uh, obviously, I need to lose all that. Bring this back bring that back so what happens when 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 it's done you know um, we're going to come back to our composition window and I'm going to drag this uh, back to where we start and if we have a look with alpha information now this is what we have so uh, it's not it's not amazing but there are you know there, there's options here so you can use motion blur and it will try and add motion blur to the sides which is kind of cool obviously I'm going to ignore the parts where it messes up because I've only really done the first 20 frames here um, so let's have a look this area this is all quite good and you can feather it more or less by using this as you can see that it's kind of trying to smooth it out and that's kind of cool you can reduce the contrast bring that all the way down you're going to get a softer matte contrast up does exactly the opposite so it kind of hardens it a bit like feather does so the balance between these two um, is is what will give you like a cleaner edge you can try and reduce chatter if there's areas that kind of buzz a bit um, it's not too bad here but there's because I've feathered it a bit but um, there, there might be times where the edges bubble a bit and uh, you might want to separate those out and the shift edge does exactly what the mask expansion tool does in um, in uh, in the normal masks. So you can kind of like move the edge in or out. So I might kind of pinch it slightly. Uh, and if you turn that off, you'll just have the normal effect. And you can obviously invert the foreground and background. So this is what. So we get both. Um, and that's it really. So if I duplicate that layer come down and remove the roto brush from this back one uh, I don't have the option of doing the compositing options and keeping it on one layer because technically this has not added a mask if I press M you'll see there is no mask here which means I can't use uh, oh actually can I I wonder so you can you have compositing options but you have no mask no physical mask that you can apply so the way to then separate this is let's just say this is the Spartan so I'm just hitting enter and renaming it and this is our background and now you can go to your Spartan and add all the crazy effects you would like let's add hue saturation again to the Spartan and make him purple for no reason and there you go you know uh, with a bit more fine tuning you know we've we've created an effect that would have taken probably forever to do with not forever but you would have had to do like maybe two or three complex masks with um, the pen tool here 
to kind of get a similar effect and we've done that in well under 10 minutes and that was with me explaining stuff as I went along so you can see the benefits of um, of doing stuff this way and kind of letting After Effects work it out obviously the cleaner the edge the better After Effects is going to do this you saw it kind of struggled a bit with dwarfed areas so bear that in mind as well so that is it for Roto Brush today hopefully that will help you out speed up your workflow like I said just be aware it is a slow effect and to access it you have to double click and do stuff in the layer panel um, and then when you're done make sure you go back to the composition panel to see how stuff looks thanks for watching guys once again and i'll see you on the next one